Hi beauties and girls, we are back with another video. It is Melissa Q, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see me do my face and what I actually have on, I'll link it down below in the description box, but I did do a get ready with me and chit chatting about some updates and some things I wanted to do on my channel. If you are a new subscriber, I just wanna welcome you. If you haven't hit the button yet, I'm gonna wait. I would love for you guys to be a part of the Melissa Q family we got going on over here. Today's video is three ways on how not to waste your money on makeup. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this. I have been waiting to do this. So this is the first way. This is when you are at Sephora or Ulta or you're buying makeup and you need to know what you have in stock at home. Okay, because you one one of the things that really gets me is that I bought something already and then I'm like, oh, I really like that and find out when I get home, I already had it. You know what I mean? So there is an app called Beauty Kind, Beauty Keeper. I'm sorry. It's called Beauty Keeper. It's right here on my phone, but that, that's not just expired. I've moved some of those over to ones that I've finished. That way I know what I'm decluttering, what I'm finishing, and it actually keeps a, an inventory on it this video is not sponsored they don't even know that i'm talking about this i do share i share shared bleh, i shared this with my girl cj and she loves it so i wanted to come and share it with you guys but you can actually put in you know when it was used what type of item what the brand is when you open the item and then the period on the back when it says that it's like 12 or 24 months or is it three years it actually lets you go in here if you haven't opened it yet you can say you haven't opened but um, you can actually put that and then you could put best before um, and a time I mean it really breaks it down you can enter if they don't have it on the SKU you can actually enter it and you can categorize by bronzer you can categorize by the date you can categorize by the brand and the name of the products so I really do enjoy this app it's a really great way for me to know how many blushes I have uh, and then when I look in here I'm like uh, that blush looks like this um, I it's a great way to swatch and, and figure out what is alike and what's not. It's also a great way, it, they let you know like, hey, it's coming up a couple of months before this product expires. That way you can pull it out and start using it. So I really do enjoy this app and yeah, that is Beauty Keeper. If you go to the iStore, you can actually get that app, but it's called Beauty Keeper, two words. So I'll link that down below. The next way is inventory. I keep a spreadsheet of all my makeup items. If you're a spreadsheet fanatic, you're going to love this. And it allows you to see what's decluttered, what you use. I do like using that. That one is really great for if you have goals, you can actually see them on paper. Some people are really good. It's, they're better at accomplishing things when they write them down versus being a digital junkie with your phone. But um, yeah, I like that way too, just because I like the spreadsheet, by the way. I like the spreadsheet just because I get to see what I'm using and then I can actually punch in numbers. Now on this one, I can't punch in numbers of how much a product cost and that is a way to keep up with me and like how much I'm spending on makeup because you can get all you know carried away and that's something definitely that I want to make sure that's in a budget and um, you can actually see that on paper keeping everything set apart like this one you get a makeup storage system kind of like this and you actually store the items that you want to get to use up in here like I want to use up the CC cream before it goes bad and does it have an expiration date um, I have a problem with brands that don't leave an expiration date but um I, there's a uh, there's a batch code oh by the way let me go back you can use it by batch code and it will tell you in the beauty keeper how old it is so i like that too but anyway you can keep it like this or 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 I want to use up my Smashbox BB water. I do have it on my Beauty Keeper and it tells me, I believe that this goes bad. I need to use this in the month of April. I do not need to take this into May. So I want to use this up. I'm going to put this in a, the next project pan that I'm going to do, but these are actually clear, but they do have the white ones. I am going to mark it. I'm going to put it somewhere where I can see it. 
that way I know to pick it up before anything, before I open up anything. I'm kind of one of those cre uh, creatures of habit, kind of like that. So now I know this one is clear. Uh, just if you don't want your you know, makeup to look crazy, you can always put it at the bottom as well but put a color sticker you know in 2017 i bought this product so my products are the sticker is blue i bought it this year the sticker is pink color code your products and you can make them where they're not visible so it's not ugly to look at because you know some people i'm one of those people that like i don't want to have markings everywhere but I, I definitely need it to be somewhere where it's visible and i can you know just pull the item so yeah I thought it was three ways, but there's actually four. So I hope you guys enjoy that easy ways on how to not waste your money by using apps, spreadsheets, um, makeup organizers, and actually stickers. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video.